Hi guys, Kev from the Atari staff room back again. Change of pace today. No Atari stuff. No, instead I'm going to share with you um, a little title out of my Dragon 32 collection. Those of you who know me know I love the Atari ST, but guilty pleasure is my Dragon 32. First computer I ever owned, first system I ever owned. Um, yes, and this game wowed me, basically because the only other computer any of my friends had or other system was a VIC-20. And the only game we played on the VIC-20 was Blitz. And Blitz looked like this. And that was it. Um, yeah, so, out of my Dragon 32 collection we have... 3D Space Wars from Houston. I did not realise this was from Houston until I picked. I got hold of this copy, and it was a job to get hold of this, actually. Uh, yeah, it's the, the first game I ever played on my Dragon 32. 3D Space Wars. Uh, you know, it's all here. We've got old school media. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let's line it up a bit. Yeah. Dragon 32, 3D Space Wars, Houston Consults, Consultants, January 1984. To load, type CLOAD M and then return. Mm. Don't know who we return it to. Nah, kidding, we know what that means. And then we've got the, the inside of the cassette, that rather nice box art. The exploding ship. And some instructions, which I will read shortly. And we've even got Houston's address for there. Well, certainly at the time, that was Houston Consultants of Breath. Right, so what have we got? We've got loading instructions, scenario. Let's read the scenario. You have assumed complete control of your world's last fighter-killer-class spacecraft. It is only you who can prevent the ultimate disaster, the destruction of your civilization by the CDAB. Now, CDAB is spelt baddies backwards. There are three, three of these games, uh, but... C dab games, but they were it's baddies backwards, quite clever. Um, an unscrupulous race of murderers sent sorry, unscrupulous race of murderers intent on total control of your star system. Yeah, and then you've got instructions for play, which we're getting stuck in, and you can see this. There's my how old, how old would I have been in '84? My nine, ten year old self would have, was going bonkers over this because it was absolutely head and shoulders above anything else I'd experienced. And it was in our dining room, hooked up to a little black and white portable TV. Which was fine because the Dragon's high resolution, much like the ST in many ways, was only monochrome. So, let's get stuck in and you can watch me play this. Fabulous. Really looking forward to it. Here we go. And here we are back, and, uh, we've loaded it up. A Houston Consultants presents 3D Space Wars. Written by S. Turner, written, uh, sorry, devised by S. Turner, written by A. Braybrook. Brook. I'm wondering if that's the same Mr. Braybrook who's responsible for Iridium on the C64, which is another Houston title. An excellent game on the C64, to be honest. Really beautifully written shooter but unfortunately made a mess of when converted by Mindscape to the Atari ST. In fact, the Atari ST version is inferior in every way to the 8-bit version. It was an absolute travesty. But anyway, off we go. Right, okay, we'll uh, press fire or spacebar. I haven't plugged my joystick in, so we'll go with keys. Spacebar, here we are. Seek out and destroy the CDAB. See what I mean about baddies backwards? Fleets. Your fuel is depleted by their shots and your twin lasers. Replenish fuel by docking with the dual-tanked space station. Keys are F for faster, S for slower, R for reverse up-down, break, freezes game, and arrow keys for movement. Okay, off we go. Whoa, check it out. Well, you gotta admit, you know, if you'd only ever seen the Blitz game I showed you a clip of earlier, this is a different animal altogether. So there's our keys, there's our lasers. Now there's a bit of slowdown with all this going on on the screen, but that does inevitably pass. Now my sort of pre-teen self was absolutely blown away by this. I, in my mind, we, I had all sorts of dogfights. 
basically all you've got to do is shoot the bad guys. And I'm doing, as you see, we've got on the display at the bottom, we've got F for fuel. Oh, not F for fuel. We've got a fuel uh, readout, speed readout, which we can go faster by pressing F. Maybe it gives us a nice beep. Um, up to wall, and then we've got the number of ships I've, I've shot uh, below that, but, and score, or below the score, actually, is the number of ships I've shot, and the high score, and that is it. But the graphics on this at the time were absolutely mind-blowing, as far as I was concerned, and my friends had nothing like it. Uh, yeah, let's just take these guys out. Now, you, I'm sure you can draw comparisons to the Atari... Game space is it space raiders? I'm sure it is. But this is this just feels better. This feels better than the 16-bit version of space raiders. I will be honest. But maybe that's just my preference and nostalgia taking over. All right, so where are we? There we are. Okay. So as I said, the idea is you got to basically shoot everyone. You've got your radar on the left, bottom left of the screen. Shoot everyone up. I'm going to see if I can find my fuel station. There he is. So there's our fuel guy. And all we've got to do is line our crosshairs up roughly. It's a bit of flicker, but... And there we go. Now you can only put you can only put so much fuel in and then he flies off. So we may as well fill up. Because once he's empty, he flies away. So we're okay. Well, you fly away anyway. There he is. So there you are. Come on, out. Let's... I haven't got that many. Two. You've got to be careful as well because you can actually blow up your refuel in that ship. You can shoot it down, which isn't never going to be good. So you have to somehow, sometimes, and somehow be careful. So you don't want to be opening a, a volley of twin lasers only to blow up your only means of topping up your your life, so to speak. Because there is no life system, it's you feel, and that's it. Which I suppose was quite revolutionary at the time, because everybody was on about um, the three lives, weren't they? There's that famous story that, uh, I can't remember who David Braben took Elite to, which software was, I can't remember the time. They turned it down because it would, didn't have the magic three lives and ten minutes gameplay. And that's how Aconsoft got it and turned it, and it became the legend of a game it was. So this was. There we are, bonus score 100. Woohoo! Whoa, off we go! Okay. Now, these guys, as I remember, because I didn't often get a level 2 back in the day, remind me of the Imperial Shuttles from Star Wars. Look at that. that look, well, yeah, I don't think you saw them in Star Wars. Yeah, I certainly saw them in uh, Empire, in Jedi, definitely. I don't, I'm not sure about Empire, so I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. They were definitely in Jedi. I remember it was one of the few Star Wars action toys I had. I had that and some sort of other ship as well. It was brown, as I recall. I can't remember what it was, but it was big enough to hold one Star Wars figure. Anyway. Off we go. Enough rumble it. Let's see if we take out some of these. Oh, goodness me, my, my fuel's getting low. I better find that. Where is he? Where is he? I think. Is that him? No, that's not him. We're looking for... He does appear on my radar. So where on earth is he? See what's moving. Like there's something not moving but there. There he is. Right. Because the ship doesn't move. The um refuel thing. Okay. Come on, fuel me. Right, there we are. And they do shoot at you while you refuel them, but it obviously there's minimum effect. I'm going to feel right up, and he may disappear. After it. No. Good. That can only be a good thing. If he doesn't disappear, it means you can go back. Right. Come on. Yes!
No, come on. Oh no! Come on! The more levels you get through, the more things turn into more of a, a dog fight rather than some sort of Point and shoot. If I can make it to the next level, you will see what I mean because the next guys, which and I've never got past the next level by the way, um, are an absolute pain to get past. Oh, you know, but as I said, this this game just blew me away. I, my father, my mum and dad have got a computer in their, their home. My father uses it to um, get points on his Brewster's pub loyalty card for when they go for meals and things. And they Skype my brother who lives in Canada. And my father occasionally checks flights when he goes out to Canada. The flight information and things. And that is all they use it for. Except my father's got an extra, the Dragon 32 emulator on that. And he plays this and another game called Bug Diver, which I made a video on one day, not too soon, or not too, you know. I'm talking garbage because I'm trying to take this guy out. You don't want to go. Come on. But, but as I said, Bug Diver, I will try and do a video soon because I'm in, actually enjoying this quite a lot. And the Dragon Keyboard doesn't help because with modern PC keys, you've got, oh... Up, down, left, right, all clustered together. And the dragon keyboard. Up, down is on one side of the keyboard, left and right on the other. So, yeah. Come on, we're almost there. I'm almost going to get to level three. There we go. Oh, come on, have that. Have this. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Just bring it. Whoop. Here we go. Right, here we go. Same with every level, this beginning. Uh, oh, there's so much going on on screen. And as you can see, ooh, things are starting to speed up a bit, and I'm basically in a dogfight. The AI just gets so much better, and I was hoping, I couldn't remember whether you got a, a complete refill when you uh, completed a level. You don't, I need a refill. Okay, where's our fuel? I believe you're looking for the point on the. Yes. You look for the point on the. Oh, I'm going to take him out actually before we go any further. This is all right. Right. The point on the, the radar that's not moving, and that is your refueling station. Fuck it over. All right. And there we are, fueling up. Hey, off we go. Right. Oh, come on. Come on, I want you. Uh, I'm going to take you apart. Oh, slow down, man. Give me some more maneuverability. Yes! You are next to my sights. You were there. Yes! Next one is over here. Mind your refueling ship because we don't want to wipe that out. Oh, there's another one. Oop. Yes. Next. Who's next, sweet electric death? That'll be you. Yes. Next. Who's next? Come on. I would love to complete this level for the first time in my life. Live for you guys right now. I say live, it's not live because I'm recording. But again, you know what I'm trying to say. I would love to do it as a as a YouTube first for me. I keep an eye on my fuel and things as well. I want kind of. My good lord! There's one on his own down there, we'll have him. 
Where's he? There he is. Yes. Right, I'm trying to pick off the ones who are on their own. And I'm going to cluster that up. Take this guy out. Go on, right, where's the fuel sta station? I know that's local. It's here somewhere. Uh, that's not him. I know he's here. What's that there? There he is. Right, okay. Come on. Excuse me. Oh, I'm gone. That's me done. I'm good. No more fuel than like fuel that. You know if I'm I'm concentrating if I go quiet. This is actually I'm having a whale of a time by it. You can't couldn't possibly know how much I'm enjoying this. Right now it looks absolutely dreadful, I'm sure. But I am really I'm stalking my prey. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh you're on. I'm I'm a preteen again. I turned 40 yesterday, but now I'm preteen. And I am Stalking my digital prey. Come on. Oh, I haven't got much left. Come on. Ah, two of them. Right. Okay. Let's careful now. Oh, no! Oh! That was unkind. Okay, guys. That was 3D Space Wars by Houston Consultants from 1984 on the Dragon 32. I am absolutely ex mentally exhausted. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's a corking game, guys. If you can get x to work, it's a bit of a pain to get x to work properly. The emulator for the Dragon 32 x -Roy. Sorry, I may not have mentioned that. Um, I've got an original system, but if you haven't, x if you can get it to work, great. Get hold of this. Absolutely excellent stuff. And you too could kill... The sea dabs. Right. Okay, I'm going to give it another go. And I will see you guys next time. Okie doke. Bye. Here we go. Let's kick some sea dab butts.